What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great and welcome back to another Eat Special List video. <laughs> and uh, this time I'm going to review uh, budget perfumes, you know, cheapies which smells good. So here uh, the target was once again uh, to pick fragrances which smells good and uh, uh, likeability factor is high so these are the fragrances which falls in crowd pleasers kind of category and mostly most of the people are going to uh, like these perfumes so here these are all cheapies uh, the price range here is not more than 60 uae dirhams all these perfumes uh, comes in the price range of 60 or maybe less than uh, 60 uae dirhams uh, but they all smell good yes they are not as long lasting as the perfumes I have reviewed in the previous list but still they are very good and you can keep a decant with you keep refreshing and you will smelling very nice so let's start our review and once again uh, this is just a fun type of video not going to describe the fragrances just going to give you some hints and that's it so I got 12 perfumes here and at number one I got Athat from the house of Latafa so this is a perfume uh, which is famous to be a clone of uh, Dior's Sauvage Elixir and a detailed review is already recorded and I'm going to upload it maybe today or tomorrow in the night. Wait for my review but this smells very good and performs in a very decent way. Keep a decant with you and you have to refresh it once or twice if you want to enjoy it for the whole day but it smells very 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 nice. For the details watch my review. Uh, wait for my review and now let's jump on to the next perfume and this is a perfume from the house of Paris Corner and this is from their Emir line and trust me guys this is a compliment magnet it smells divine in the air extremely long lasting and performs very well and this is patchouli number seven the review of this perfume is also recorded and just waiting to get edited and to get uploaded so wait for one or two days until you get a detailed review of this perfume but i can tell you that this is a beautiful scent based on patchouli and this is an excellent alternative or you can say the only alternative in the market of van cleef and Apple's. uh i think it's uh, moonlight anyways you are going to get all details in my uh, review in my detailed review very good scent now Jump to the next perfume and this is a perfume which i have already reviewed and once again this is from the house of paris corner and this is kahila platinum and this is a clone or alternative of uh, jpj's uh, jean paul gaultier's lebo a very nice refreshing aquatic fruity sweet kind of concoction a crowd pleaser kind of scent gives you a very good longevity and Keep refreshing to enjoy it for the whole day. Now let's jump to the next perfume. This is already reviewed by me and a detailed review is available on my channel. Go try it out. And this is Ocean from the house of Nabil uh, from their Master Perfume Collection. Something uh, which falls in the category of the spirit of Dubai's Bahar. Refreshing, aquatic, oceanic type of scent. If you like Mega Mare, if you like uh, the spirit of Dubai's Bahar, are going to love it there are some people who may say this is cheap or bad but trust me guys this smells so good and the price is so cheap for 60 dirham you cannot get anything better than this and if you put the same juice in a bottle of tom ford or some a niche brand the same people who are bashing it right now will be saying that oh this is amazing and we will die for it a masterpiece but because it's cheap and uh, it's not costing you a kidney or a leg uh, the people are talking but a beautiful scent ocean and now let's jump to the next perfume which is once again from the same collection master perfume collection from the house of Nabil and this is Fulat which means iron or steel sorry it means steel and this is an amazing scent detailed reviews available on my channel if you like perfumes like Ganymede you are definitely going to love it it's metallic and a beautiful scent uh, go watch my review for details Fulat a very refreshing and beautiful scent and now the next perfume here i got is from the house of uh, fragrance world and this is from their exclusive collection and this comes in their celestia line and this is celestia blue review is coming in the next week and this is a very good alternative of uh jeremy's the ones office very refreshing 
citrusy orange on the top with a uh, very beautiful other notes which I'm going to describe you in my detailed video. So here I'm not going to give you all details. But this is a very good clone or alternative of The Office from Fragrance 1. And now let's jump on our next perfume which is from the house of Just Jack. And this is for Neroli lovers. If you are looking at something uh, nostalgic, if you like a barbershop type of scent, if you like Tom Ford's uh, Neroli Portofino, this is the affordable version. And yes, not smell as good as Tom Ford, but the price difference is huge. You have to cut zeros from the price of Tom Ford. So this is Just Jack Neroli, a very refreshing Neroli based scent, give you an authentic barbershop kind of feel. Very refreshing and uh, very affordable. I think you can get this for 50 UA dirhams for 100 ml. And the quality in the difference is, you can say around 10 to 15%. But the price difference is huge. So try it out. Very long lasting scent. And now the next perfume I have here is, once again, from the house of Ahmed Al Maghribi. And I was the one who reviewed it the first time. and. A lot of people, they have loved it. And this perfume becomes one of their hot selling perfume. So this is Bidoon Is from the house of Ahmed Al Maghribi. A beautiful musky rose type of scent. A combination of rose and musk with a dry down of leather. You can find detailed review in my uh, on my channel. Uh, if you want to know how this perfume actually smells and if you're interested in this perfume but this is a very long lasting scent and an excellent choice uh, for the day of Eid Bidun Ism. Let's jump to the next perfume and this is the cheapest in the whole collection but this perfume performs like a beast very long lasting and smells very nice in the air and this is Rose Vanille Rose Vanille uh, from Prive Couture collection from the house of Ardal Zafran or Latafa. If you uh, visit any Latafa store or Ardal Zafran store, you can get this uh, collection from there. This is a 30 ml bottle going to cost you only uh, 15 UA dirhams if I'm not mistaken. And this smells something very similar to Mancera's Rose Vanille. And this one performs like a beast. Very cheap, smells very good in the air and dry down is beautiful and performance is beast here. So try it out if you like Mancera's Rose Vanille. And now let's jump to the next perfume here once again from Ahmed Al Maghribi. This was the first fragrance from this house which I have reviewed before that no one knows about Ahmed Al Maghribi at least not in the uh, fragrance co uh, community. So this was the first perfume I reviewed from this house and this is leather. An excellent affordable alternative of Tom Ford's Tuscan leather. And this is, you can say, a fruity version of Tuscan leather. Detailed review is available on my channel. Go have a look. And wow, beautiful scent, very affordable. I think uh, this is a 50 ml bottle, if I'm not wrong, or 40 or 50 ml bottle. And it's going to cost you only around 45 UA dirhams. Very affordable, very long lasting, performs like a beast and smells very good. The next one here is, once again, a beautiful scent uh, from the house of uh, Fragrance World. It's a clone of MFK's uh, Oud Satin Mood, and this is Barakat Satin Oud. Uh, this is, you can say, a tamed version of original MFK's uh, Oud Satin Mood, and sweet, long-lasting, floral type of scent. You are going to love it, a very good perfume for the occasion of Eid, especially in the evening time, in the night time. So try it out if you like sweet type of scents, if you like MFK's uh, Oud Satin Mood, and you're going to love it. I have already reviewed this perfume in detail. You can check my channel uh, if you are interested. And now uh, this is another cheapie from the house of Louis Cardin, and this is Sacred. And I'm going to review this perfume very soon. And this one is sweet, fruity, and chocolatey kind of uh, concoction interesting one it's very cheap it's going to cost you around only 40 or 45 ua dirhams for 100 ml perfume and it lasts for a very long time projects in a very great way uh, wear it and you will be enjoying all day and even the people around you are going to love it something really worth trying so see if you can yeah, put your hands on it and give it a try 
Louis Carden Secret. So this was uh, my list of affordable uh, perfumes which you can uh, wear on ETH and you will be getting some good experience. There are hundreds and thousands of other options to, to, to choose but uh, this is a collection uh, which I like more nowadays. So uh, I hope you like this uh, list and until the next video take care and bye put your scent on and stay fragrant.